Hello everyone, my name is Shad Powell. I work with product development and training with Refco. This is a short video to talk about some of the installation tips on installing the Gobi condensate pump that goes underneath the high wall fan coils. Let's first let's talk about what comes in the box. Inside the box you're going to find two inline fuses. One of them is going to be purple, one of them is going to be black. The black one you want to put on your live wire, the black wire that's on your pump, and the purple one is going to go on one of the purple alarm wires. It doesn't matter which one. Also in the box you're going to find a mounting hardware and the pump and the installation instructions. We're going to talk about how to install these. This particular one right here is already mounted on the right hand side of the fan coil. One of the nice things about these pumps is you can install them either way. So you take off the, the, the cover and if we wanted to mount this on on this other side, what we can do is take the pump off the back plate, move the water tray over to the other side, take the pump, turn it around, and it, and it mounts on the back plate this way. So it's easily um, installed on the right or the left underneath the fan coil. Let's take a closer look at this one over here and how it's installed. I'm going to go ahead and remove that cover plate. Now, the, the water, the condensate drain coming out of your fan coil, in the back of the fan coil typically has something that looks like this. Depending on if you want your line set on the left or the right, or um, you, you're going to have to mount the, the water drain on the fan coil on the respective side underneath the drain, or on top of the drain. These pipes are going to be cut off and, and drained right into your water drain pan on your pump. Taking this off as a unit, you can see behind it, there's actually the, the, the mounting back plate. One little trick that we found is if you, take, if you cut the top of the box off, fold it in half, you can put that up underneath the fan coil and use that as a mounting guide for the back plate. One quick thing is, if you mount the back plate all the way up against the bottom of the fan coil, you're not going to be able to get the pump on or off, and you're not going to be able to get the cover on. Just as a, a fortuitous coincidence, this is the, the right length and the right thickness to use as a mounting guide. So if you put that up there, put your back plate all the way up to the top of that, that cardboard, you can mark your holes and go ahead and mount your, your fan coil either on the left or the right hand side. When you're done with that, of course, take your cardboard away and you're ready to go. So this one I already have mounted. What you're going to want to do is make sure your filter goes on to your water pickup. Now, of course, depending on the environment, you're going to need to open these up and clean out this uh, water filter occasionally and also the, the, drain, the water pan itself. We're going to put that on. The easiest way I've found to do this is to actually hook the whole thing on as, as, a, as a unit. Just moving that water drain and there. Got it. It's mounted firmly, squarely, there. Make sure your water drain is coming down, everything's good. We're going to talk about the wiring in just a second. This one's already wired up, so we want to go ahead and test it to make sure it's working. What I want to do is take a little bit of water and put it into the condensate drain pan and make sure the plumbing's all working properly as a test. Now when this fan coil first starts up, it's going to be a little bit loud. That's only because it's starting dry. But once it primes itself, it's going to run quite a bit quieter. So we'll hear this thing start in just a second. OK. It just started. We're going to let that run until it stops. Then we're going to put a little bit more water inside that drain pan, just to make double sure that it's working and it's stopping when it's when it's done. On the water connection here, you can use vinyl or you can use silicone, but either way, make sure that you use a cable tie or a zip tie to secure that water line to the pump itself. There's a little bit of pressure on the outlet side. 
you don't want that line to come off. Another nice thing about these pumps is that they have an electronic sensor right here. This electronic sensor measures the level of the water and it drives the pump accordingly up and down. There's about 38 different speeds these, pump ha these pumps have. So that water's coming out of the unit because this unit's actually running right now. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more water in there on the sensor. And it started again. We're going to let that stop and we're going to talk about the wiring. seems to be working just fine. So let's talk about the wiring. On this particular fan coil, you've got the line voltage coming in from the utility. Um, this one has European uh, wiring colors, brown being your live and blue being neutral. Then we have S3, S2, and S1 respectively. This flat cable is from my pump. I've got two alarm wires, a live, a neutral and a ground. Ground it goes to ground or your earth. Your white wire or your neutral goes to your S2 terminal. And then your black wire, you're going to put your inline fuse, land that together with one of your purple alarm wires. The other purple alarm wire is going to be connected to your S1 line going to your outdoor unit. There are other types of fan coils that are going to be powered from the outdoor unit to the indoor unit, and we're going to show you how to wire those in just a second. Okay, this drawing here is pretty much what we had on that sample, where we've got the utility power coming in to the indoor unit. Again, these units have um, the capability to run on either 110 or 220 volt line voltage coming in. So you have your live, your neutral, your earth, and then your terminal strip where you're going to hook your pump up to. You have your ground, green and yellow going to your earth on the terminal on your indoor, your white, uh, which is your neutral, going to your S2 terminal. Your S3 terminal between your indoor and outdoor should not be broken into. This is a data communication between the indoor and outdoor. Typically it's bi-directional. Most of the OEM's um, systems work a lot better if you just hook on the pumps to the S1 and the S2 and leave S3 alone. The live wire with your inline fuse in conjunction with one of your purple or violet wires with its respective inline fuse are going to be joined together on the S1 terminal on the indoor unit. The other violet wire is actually going to be ran and connected to your outdoor condensing unit. This drawing here is just a, a, a blown up view of those inline fuses coming out of the pump itself, earth to earth, neutral to S2, black with its inline fuse together with the violet going to the indoor S1 and the other violet going to your outdoor condensing unit. Let's take a look at the, a different type, type of wiring diagram. This particular wiring diagram here has the utility power going to the outdoor unit and the indoor fan coil is powered from the outdoor unit. Again, 110 or 220 neutral earth coming to the outdoor and then all four of these lines going in. Earth to earth, S3 or the data line to the S3. Some, some OEMs have different labels on these. They might call them L1, L2, L3, Live, Neutral, Earth, S1, S2, S3. It just depends on which manufacturer you're working on. S2 to S2 or to the, to the white wire, the neutral wire coming out of the pump. One of your alarm wires goes from the pump directly to the indoor S1. The other violet wire with its inline fuse and the live wire, the black wire coming out of the pump with its inline fuse are going directly to your outdoor unit or your S1. This is the other way to wire it if your indoor unit is powered from your outdoor condenser. There's another way to do it which is when your indoor unit and your outdoor unit are powered separately. And on those you're just going to land your live and neutral to respective live and neutral on the indoor unit to power your pump. So, on behalf of everyone at REFCO, we want to say thanks for watching and we appreciate your business.